It's a proposal uh, for the guys going out to the Philippines. Um, it's a way to make extra money, and if you're not going to the Philippines but still interested in the deal, let me know. Um, I have access to a lot of call centers. Um, they'll work with me, they trust me, I've worked with them before, they've made a lot of money from me. Um, and basically what it is, is you'll find call centers struggle to get um, new business. And a lot of it is because of being offshore. I found this myself because if I'm in the UK, I can generate business in the UK. But sat in the Philippines, people will say, okay, just get back to me, blah, blah, blah. It's very hard to do because this sort of stuff needs to be built face to face because it's a trust issue. Um, what you find is there's a huge potential market there. Virtual assistants are growing. Um, I know myself, I use, my wife does my virtual assistant stuff these days, but Excel sheets, uh, PowerPoint presentations, all that sort of stuff virtual assistants can do. They can manage your diary, they can uh, design a website, they can go over things that, and highlight things in a document so that you can go through it quickly, um, they read it for you. Um, not that I'm saying I do that a lot, but sometimes I'll, I'll get somebody to browse over something first, put it, highlight markers on things they, they aren't happy with, say a contract. Then I'll read through the contract myself and I'll also go over what they thought was a bit iffy. Um, that's a bit complicated for the average virtual assistant, but the fact is that there's a huge, um, a huge scope for what you can use a virtual assistant for. Um, you could divert your mobile phone calls to a local telephone number which diverts to the Philippines and they deal with all your incoming calls while you're driving for example so you never miss a call and um, there's a lot of stuff but getting people to buy into it requires people where you are and I say where you are because it doesn't matter where you are there's a market for this and it just needs people like yourself to generate customers and I will say if you can get this to work, we'll build up on it. Um, I've got a, a friend at the moment with 80 virtual assistants that he's taken up to 90. He's actually just putting a contract together for me at the moment because he wants me to start marketing his call center for him. A lot of work is coming out of Australia, US, uh, and the UK. The UK is a bit slow as usual. Um, Technology-wise, it all seems slightly behind, um, but I think People are starting to grasp the fact that virtual assistants are an important part of a business and downsizing doesn't always help a company. You know, they see the short-term cost savings, but they just move the burden across because somebody else is picking up those hours. But it's normally somebody that costs more than the administrator in the first place, um, so it doesn't actually save any money. Or um, it, If it saves money, it increases stress and people's time off due to stress and illness. But the, so the virtual assistant options there, um, get in touch if you're interested in developing it, and I can teach you how to, uh, what a virtual assistant is capable of doing. I can also um, introduce you to people that can do web design, introduce you to people that can pretty much put most things together that people need online or over the phone, and it can all be done from the Philippines. And for yourself, myself, and the, the virtual assistants and the, the people that own the call centers, we can develop a business between ourselves. And that's basically it. That's the proposal. And even on the telemarketing side, if you're wondering what sort of money you can make, I was making um, on a good week $8,000 a week. Um, and that's no joke. So you got to remember the potential here is up to 4,000 agents which means you're getting a payment of every single agent every single month that they're operational with your clients and this is why it works so let me know what you think and i'm very keen to work with people that are switched on if you don't get grasp the idea grasp the product you're going to struggle to sell it so don't waste your time don't waste mine unless you're serious about making some serious money. All right, thanks for watching.